Hi, it's Esther at The Trucking Scribe. I have a new little book that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on. It is a flower book that we're doing in Junk Journaling World, a Facebook group. And for August, our theme is Summer of Love. So the heart and the flowers and tie-dye link into that. So I hope you enjoy the video and the process of making it. So I'm taking my six by six that I got out of here. I'm going to fold it in half and bone fold it. Fold this one in half and score it. So now be able to see where these score lines are. So see how we folded it in half and then in half this way. Now we're going to take and we're going to fold it. My hands already got the kitten. We're going to fold it corner to corner. So I'm just going to simply fold it back over so I can get that line. Okay, so now we've got this way, this way, and this way. So we need this way. So we're just going to turn it over and go end to end this way. And I'm going to ink it real quick so you can see what I'm doing. So we've got the corner lines right here. What we're looking for are these middle lines. So you're going to take your fingers and you're going to push this side and this side. See, I'm catching it right here on that fold line and we're going to push it together. So now my fingers are holding the fold line on both sides. While you're doing that, push this down so it looks like that. So a view from this perspective is you're pushing this line, so it's the other three inch line in the middle. You're just pushing it down. And then you fold it. So you have one fold line right here. You have four fold lines here. Then on this side is the cut line. Now I tried a while ago and this didn't work too well. I had to cut three or four times before I actually got the round shape because I was using this as a template but I think what I need to do is maybe go from here because I want this petal shape so I'm going to start down here and I'm doing mine upside down and I'm just drawing a petal shape a big loop I mean, if nothing else, you could put your finger there and draw a big, or two fingers maybe would work. So, I know I'm crazy. So then we're going to take and cut this. Remember, we've got our folded lines here and our folded lines there. And this is pretty heavy cardstock. So, well, I don't know about heavy, but when you got eight layers it's hard to cut it does look kind of jaggedy but once you get to the regular paper it'll be a little bit easier to cut let's see so there's my flower so now we're going to take these other papers i'm going to set this one to the side so fold in half i do use the crease mine just to help but you don't have to fold in half again Then turn one quarter, fold in half on the triangles. Fold in half the triangle again. So now you have that same shape that we started with, the square. So we got our lines. We're going to take this 
three inch line in the middle and we're going to put it together. See how it's got my little fingers there? The top view would look like this. So I'm pushing that other middle three inch line in. Sometimes this takes a little finessing. So that's what it looks like from the top. From the side, which is probably the way you're going to be looking at it, and it's not wanting to fold right. Here it goes. So there. What we're going to do once we get here is just fold over and score that. And then we're going to do that to all eight pages of the other paper. I have eight to you. With the distressed oxide mix, you take I think this is going to be messy, but I want to see how it does. I'm just taking that edge and rubbing it against my ink pad, the edge, the side of it, and I'm getting ink everywhere. I could have thought about this a little better, but I don't know. I'm going to do the same with this one. What I'm going to do, I think, is try and do it this way. So I got long edges. Since we're doing Summer of Love, I'm thinking tie-dye. In my experience the other day with the Distress Oxides, it might look good. I only have a few, so I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to try black one. I'm going to have all different colors going. I got black, vintage photo, and walnut in the oxides. So I have my eight pages. What I'm going to do is this purple one. I want some of the black. And I just got water in this bottle. And I'm going to set it down face down. Just rub it and see what comes up. I'm definitely experimenting here. This was too much fun the other day. Set that one there for a second. See how the colors are running? Looks like I could probably spray this from the back. My mister is not a high mist. So I do have these two. I've had them for a long time. I'm just trying to make my flower look cute. I want to get ink all over me. I'm 
And I'm just laying them over here to the side for the moment. I'm going to do a little purple right there. You don't need much. I'm going to lay this one back down in it. Okay. So I wonder if I spray this first, if it'll help that it's already on there. Yep, looks like it. So I put a trash bag on my floor so that I can lay these out without them being on top of each other and really mixing colors. I mean, that is just beautiful to me. I love those colors. So I am spraying the side with the oxide on it to get that kind of started and then just plopping it down any kind of way. And I'm wetting the paper from this side too. And you can wear gloves if you choose to, but I don't work well with gloves. I do like how I did the, go ahead, went ahead and distressed the, those there, what do you call them, why am I, I can't think, the fold lines, because that's giving it, or petal dimension with these colors too. I just, I never realized when I first got into this that the distress, distress oxides did all that. See now, now I want to sit here and paint, fold plenty more paper because I want to make quite a few more. So this one, I'm just going to plop it in there because there is so much water already and see what we get. See what it does. Seems like it reacts differently. So I got these silicone mats on Amazon. They come as a three pack. And I got them for glue, but I'm finding that I can do this in my office with these papers. And not have as much of a mess. Probably need to go outside, but you know, I don't do that very often. What's going on? So I'm going to leave this just like this. And I just cover it up with my other box and sit it. So now my paper is dry. So I think we're ready to keep on going in this little experiment. There's an extra this is a smaller one. These turned out beautiful. This is my insides. Let me see. I really want to hold it right here. We're going to push down and then push down. And since we've already had it folded, it should go back folded pretty good. We'll sit this on top. I really enjoyed our paper fun. So we've got the colored side on the inside, so the pattern would go in. Let's see, this was not wanting to behave. This was so much fun. I've let them sit over there and dry all day long. And I've been waiting, and I'm just sitting them under this glue to help get that pressed down, um, the seams pressed down a little bit better. So we're just pushing in. 
and I'm fixing to speed it up so y'all don't have to watch me fold all these papers again. So I'm going to take our template. On the fourth side, we got one, two, three, four folds. On our paper, we've got four folds. I'm going to match those two sides up. So that should be one fold on this side. And then the tops are all cut out. I'm going to take and just draw around my little template and draw and go back and cut them out. So I've got my one side there and then my fold, other four folded on that side. Okay. So I'm going to hold on to my template just so when I make some more. You could have took and cut this out all by holding the template, but I am just feel more comfortable following the line. So I'm going to cut them all on the line. So what I'm going to do now is take my flowers, fold it in like we had them, and I'm going to sit them like this. So you got your four flaps like that. So let me show you this one. This is basically our flower. So see how those the marks all coincide with these that we've already we did to start with. So we're just gonna fold up our flower back the same way. And so that means we've got one, two, three, four little sections, four petals if we're holding it like this. Next we're going to, I'm going to use this glue stick. That is what Kit, the lady that I watched do this, she used that first. So I'm going to take and just stick my paper under this little bit of an edge right there. Actually I can stick it like that and then do my glue and it not get on the bottom. So then I'm going to take the next one and you can look at them and see what colors you want to go with what. Same thing, we got four holes. And I'm just going to match it up. So see, I matched it up on top of the heart. Push it, squish it down with the bone folder. And you can match your hearts up there than what I'm doing, I think. I don't know, I may have to trim these when I get done. Okay, so then I'm going to take and stick the paper right here to keep that glue off of my next, and I'm just going to glue the next piece on. I hope this is making sense and I ain't getting everybody confused, so we, we're just taking and putting the next piece right there. And you can turn your paper, that way you've got a clean corner, just poke it in there. And that will give you um, space in between your hearts, between your flowers, so that... So I'm going to let this sit a minute under this acrylic medium as a weight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this... And I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna try and stay on my lines. And I'm gonna cut it in half again so I have four. See that looks like a heart. And I'm gonna take this again. My front is gonna be down. I'm gonna do the 
the glue outwards from the middle instead of in. So then I'm going to just put my cover on. So here's my second cover. Did not realize those were so much off. Okay. Now it's time to trim them after I've done glued on. I didn't check my cover covers to see if they fit before I started gluing them on. And of course they were a little bit smaller and I'm having to trim the paper. On I probably would have gotten a new cover, but since these were already dyed and all, I just decided to trim them up, which is another thing you can do if your covers don't match your papers. This takes a little longer, so I will be back with you as soon as I get done trimming all this up. So I have some ruffle lace. I'm going to cut the ruffle off because I think it will fit my heart just right. You know, it's going to be a little short, but I can put something down there. But look at that. I like that. Let me see if I can get a little fabric tack on it. Up here. I don't want a lot because I don't want it to stick to everything. And I can just trim it up around here. So I went and I printed this. I just pulled up some, printed the summer or text that typed Summer of Love 2023. So nothing fancy, just the computer. I'm not sure which one I want to use. I messed that other one up, I think. I want it big enough to see, but then again, I don't. This is going to be too much. I don't want the love to go there, but I want twenty twenty three down here or up there. Or I could put it. Up there, about there. Let's see. Put summer right here. Could put that butterfly in there somewhere, but I really don't know that I need them.
Come on, that heart will go into that heart. Well, I can eat something over there for some reason. I don't know. So I'm gonna call that done because if I don't, I'm gonna be sitting here all day long with it. With me, thank you for visiting this afternoon as I make this Summer of Love journal. I hope to see your version on social media. Just tag me at the Truck and Scribe. And thank you so much for coming. If you're a new if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment of what you think about the video and what you might want to see in the future.